sorry to bother you, but uh, I couldn't get the downstairs door open. Uh, I guess they sent me the upstairs key. I couldn't get the downstairs door open. I said, I guess they sent me the uh, upstairs key. I couldn't get the downstairs door open. I'm sorry to wake you. It's quite all right. Could happen to anyone. Quite frequently does. Good night. Uh, I hate to... Uh, I hate to bother you, but if I could ask one more favor, could I use the phone? Sure. Why not? Thank you. Well, this is a nice little place you've got here. You just moved in too, huh? Well, I've been here about a year. The phone's over there. Well, it was. Oh, I remember. I stuck it in the suitcase, kind of muffles the sound. I'm sorry. Is he all right? Sure. Sure, he's okay, aren't you, cat? Poor old cat. Poor slob. Poor slob without a name. The way I look at it, I don't have the right to give him one. We don't belong to each other. We just took up by the river one day. I don't even want to own anything until I can find a place where me and things go together. I'm not sure where that is, but I know what it's like. It's like Tiffany's. Tiffany's? You mean the jewelry store? That's right. I'm crazy about Tiffany's. Listen, you know those days when you get the mean reds? The mean reds? You mean like the blues? No. The blues are because you're getting fat or maybe it's been raining too long. You're just sad, that's all. The mean reds are horrible. Suddenly you're afraid and you don't know what you're afraid of. Did you ever get that feeling? Sure. But when I get it, the only thing that does any good is to jump into a cab and go to Tiffany's. Calms me down right away. The quietness and the proud look of it. Nothing very bad could happen to you there. If I could find a real life place that made me feel like Tiffany's, then... Then I'd buy some furniture and give the cat a name. I'm sorry you wanted something. Oh, the telephone. It's just that I was supposed to meet somebody. I mean, this, this is 10 o'clock Thursday morning, isn't it? I just got off a plane from Rome and I'm not too sure. Thursday? Is this Thursday? I think so. Thursday? Oh, no, it can't be! It's too gruesome! Well, uh, what's so gruesome about Thursday? Nothing, except I can never remember when it's coming up. Wednesdays, I generally just don't go to bed at all because I have to be up to catch the 1045. And they're so particular about visiting hours. Would you be a darling to look under the bed and see if you can find a pair of alligator shoes? Sure. I've got to do something about the way I look. I mean, a girl just can't go to Sing Sing with a green face. Sing Sing? As I always thought it was a ridiculous name for a prison. Sing Sing, I mean. Sounds more like it should be an opera house or something. Black alligator. You know, all the visitors make an effort to look their best. It's only fair. Actually, it's very touching, all the women wearing their prettiest things. I just love them for it. And I love the kids, too. I mean, the kids the wives bring. It should be sad seeing kids there, but it isn't. They all have ribbons in their hair and lots of shine on their shoes. You think there's going to be ice cream? Now, as I understand it, what we're doing is getting you ready to visit somebody at Sing Sing. That's right. You can always tell what kind of a person a man really thinks you are by the earrings he gives you. I must say the mind reels. May I ask whom? Whom what? Oh, whom I go to visit, you mean? I guess that's what I mean. I don't know that I should even discuss it. Oh, well, they never told me not to tell anyone. You must cross your heart and kiss your elbow. I'll try. You probably read about him. His name's Sally Tomato. Sally Tomato? Oh, don't look so shocked. They could never prove for a second that he was in part of the Mafia, much less head of it, my dear. The only thing they did prove was that he cheated at his income tax a little. Anyway, all I know is that he's a darling old man. Oh, he was never my lover or anything like that. In fact, I never knew him until after he was in prison. But I adore him now. I mean, I've been going to see him every Thursday for seven months. Now I think I'd go even if he didn't pay me. Shoot! You can only find one. He pays you? That's right. 
Or any way his lawyer does. If he is a lawyer, which I doubt since he doesn't seem to have an office, only an answering service. And he always wants to meet you at Hamburger Heaven. There you are, you sneak. Thank you. You're welcome. Dress. Dress. Here we are. Bag. There. Two. There we are. Anyway, about seven months ago, this so-called lawyer, Mr. O'Shaughnessy, asked me how I'd like to cheer up a lonely old man and pick up a hundred a week at the same time. I told him, look, darling, you've got the wrong Holly Golightly. A girl can do as well as that on trips to the powder room. I mean, any gentleman with the slightest cheek will give a girl a $50 bill for the powder room. And I always ask for cab fare, too. That's another 50 But then he told me his client was Sally Tomato. He said, dear old Sally had seen me at Elmer's or somewhere and had admired me a la distance. So wouldn't it be a good deed if I went to visit him once a week? Well, how could I say no? It was all so wildly romantic. How do I look? Very good. I must say I'm amazed. You were a darling to help. I could never have done it without you. Bag? Call me anytime. I'm just upstairs. Or I will be as soon as I get moved in. Bye, Cat. You mean he gives you $100 for an hour's conversation? Well, Mr. O'Shaughnessy does as soon as I meet him and give him the weather report. Look, it's none of my business, but it sounds to me like you could get in a lot of trouble. Hold this for me, will you? And what do you mean, weather report? Oh, that's just a message I give Mr. O'Shaughnessy. So he'll know I've really been up there. Sally tells me things to say like, uh, Oh, there's a hurricane in Cuba, and it's cloudy over Palermo. Things like that. You don't have to worry. I've taken care of myself for a long time. 